the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 7. Now, when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion's servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. Oh, so the elders of the Jews went and asked Jesus for healing. Hmm. Beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying that he was worthy for whom he should do this. For he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. And Jesus went with them, and when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, Trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof. Wherefore, neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I am all, also a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh, and to my servant do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him and turned him about and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And they that were sent returning to the house found the servant whole that had been sick. Okay. So this guy's got great faith. He's he's built a synagogue, but I guess that's the greatest faith that he's found it. He's found it in this whole land somehow. And you know what? Despite that, despite his amount of faith, there was something going on with it. Because why did the elders of the Jews, right? Meaning the Pharisees, the scribes, they came and begged Jesus to help this guy. How come they couldn't help him themselves? And furthermore, um, if you're doing that, that's a sign that you just need to convert. You, you need to just follow Jesus. If you're asking him for help, are you asking him for help and then you want to go back to what you're doing? being a scribe and a Pharisee. But anyway, Jesus just took him and said, you know what, I haven't even seen any faith like this since I've been here. And he, he healed him. And they were, and it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain. And many of his disciples went with him and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God hath visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea and throughout all the rain round about. You know, this is too much. So the Pharisees and the scribes themselves have besought help from him, from Jesus, for this person that built a synagogue.
Um, and Jesus is common to, yeah, well, I haven't seen this much faith, right? What is he talking about? Is he talking about the faith that they have? And all these Jews are now coming to him. Are they talking about the, their faith as a unit? Or is he talking about the faith of this one guy that built a synagogue? It doesn't matter. But these are people who are actively after him. He's already had problems with him. He already knows what's going on. He already knows what's going to happen, you know, when he got here. All right, he's God. So he doesn't even hesitate. He's like, he healed that guy. He knows they're going to kill him. These same people are going to be killing him. But he healed them, no problem. But I'm not sure who this statement, I have not found so great faith. No, not in Israel. It's because finally they, they, they care for this one person or they're purporting to, or they are um, just doing, uh, you know, one of their man's laws, which they think they should parade this guy around. And, like, if he's so sick, right? Like, I, I'm not sure what's going on with this guy and who, who this statement of faith is directed at. I think it seems more like it's directed at the people as a whole, finally coming to him, letting, begging him for help. So he helps. Now he's, 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 he's brought back to life a dead guy. And the disciples of John shoot him of all these things. And John called unto him two of his disciples, sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? That's John the Baptist, right? When the men come unto him, they said, John Baptist hath sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come, or look we for another? And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues, and of evil spirits, and unto them, and unto many that were blind, he gave sight. Then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way and tell John what things ye have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. That's kind of... <laughs> Yeah, so again, these Jews who should be healing people on their own and doing stuff instead of their own laws, they got to the point where Jesus had to come on earth and like straighten it out. So they're already trying to kill him. They hate him. They're jealous. And the all these scribes and the elders of the Jews just brought this sick person 